Hello again, welcome to today's presentation. I prepared for today to talk about ecology and scenicology, the two main branches of ecology. My name is Divna. So to introduce you with these two names of the main branches of ecology, as I said, it's autoecology and scenicology. Autoecology is further known as population ecology, while scenicology is mostly known as ecosystem and community ecology, two subgroups. Both of these different approaches of ecology have developed independently, although the knowledge of both of them is necessary for understanding of the individual population or the whole ecosystems. On one hand, autoecology is experimental in an inducative science. On the other hand, scenicology is more philosophical and have the deductive approach. Okay, so for the start, talk, let's talk about scenicology. So, scenicology has two sub-areas. It's um, community ecology and ecosystem ecology approach. Um, community ecology focuses on the processes driving interactions between different species and their overall consequences. And ecosystem ecology studies all organismal population and community components of the area, as well as the non-living counterparts. So, just to refresh your memory, community would be an assemblage or association of populations of two or more different species occupying the same geographical area in a, in a specific time. And uh, the question about conspecific interactions we will be interactions of the same species so interspecies interactions often, often focuses on competitions among members of the same species for limited resources ecologists also study interactions among various species so members of different species are called heterospecifics so heterospecifics uh, interactions would be, for example, predation and parasitism, herbivorism, and so on. We we talked on uh, some of the previous presentations. So that is what you you would study uh, in the area of uh, so-called community ecology is a sub area of scenicology, and then you have also the ecosystem approach of scenicology and as you probably remember that the concept of ecosystem is including living organisms which are in conjunction with their non-living components in their environment so the following this ecosystem ecology would be an extension of an organismal population and community ecology the the ecosystem is composed of all as i said biotic and, and, and non abiotic components so some of the abiotic um, and biotic uh, interactions would be questions about how nutrients and energy are stored along with how they move among organisms in their surrounding atmosphere soil and, and water so basically all the interactions happening within an ecosystem, uh, mostly interactions between living and non-living components of it. On the other hand, we have autoecology, which would be more individual approach of a single population, so population uh, of, a, of a single species. Um, so, namely, it would be dealing with dynamics of species populations and how these populations interact with the, the environment when we are talking of population of a single or single species so what it works on is population growth fluctuation spreading and interaction of interspecifically and interspecifically some of the of the questions uh, art ecology is dealing with would be as written here like population size and population density carrying capacities age distribution variation in population and so on 
So out of college is a science can deal with any of these, but also it can include interactions uh, which inc which are including several of these measurements and, and questions asked. But this <coughs> population ecology, out of ecology is tightly connected to mathematical and statistical calculations. So what I mean is, for example, these growth calculations as shown here the paramecium growth curve or for example actorial uh, life tables and this is something we will talk about in the next few presentations because this, this lecture is just an intro of this part of the ecology that we will talk about its population ecology all the calculations and statistical approaches of um, researching population, its dynamics and, and fluctuation. The, the most fundamental law of uh, this part of the ecology is Thomas Malthus' exponential law of population growth and it says a population will grow or decline exponentially as long as the environment experienced by all individuals in the population remains constant and that is something we will talk about in the next uh, presentation i will leave you with this sentence till the next lecture thanks for listening goodbye